it's unbelievable the way things happen. It's been a long road. And I remember vividly the sounds of skating on fresh ice. Henry, he could take that puck and he would go all over the rink with it and nobody could touch him. We were pretty fortunate to be a young kid in Moro with so many players that were so good. Since the inception of hockey in Moro, one of the neat marriages is that the local community had a lot of natives, so the natives play and are welcomed. They talk about the great ones. You don't have to say Henry Boucher. You can just start with Henry. Man, you just can't grab those emotions that you had with the community and the pride and the joy. When he would get the puck, the whole crowd would stand up. Those of us who are involved with hockey dream and aspire to do some of the things that Henry got to do with his incredible talent. Ahern on a pass to Boucher in the right side, a slap shot. Henry Boucher was referred to as the electric Indian because he was so explosive. Special players have that gift. The game slows down for them. Yeah, I remember the days I put my headband on. Putting that headband on for the first time, I wasn't sure. And I thought, God, you know, I'm, I'm an American Indian. If I put that on, people are going to think I want rogue on them or something. It just so happens today, January 4th, we were playing the Boston Bruins when Dave Forbes hit me with a stick. O'Shea's promising pro career was over. I was 23 when it happened. You know, it just took away my will. He was lost, didn't know where he was going, what he was doing. In that state of depression, self-pity, I hated hockey. If you're going through hell, just keep going. Try to persevere. The negatives, because the positives will come. Let's welcome Henry to the ice.